React, Svelte, Vue, Angular, Next.js, how to send through a dev, you got no bitches. Nah, just kidding. But seriously, out of all these bad boys, what the f should you choose? Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you today. And since I value your time, the timestamps will be down below. But before we start, consider subscribing to the channel and let's begin. Out of nowhere, we have a new JavaScript framework being released every day. And that's according to this weird website on Google, days since last JavaScript framework.com. Why is it even there? I don't know. And I don't give a First, we need to understand some things. The first thing is that there is no number one framework for everybody. And I'm not saying that like the people who comes up to you and says, oh, learn the one you're most passionate about and you will be the best in it. Nah, bro, that's fucking bullshit. It's not how it works for coding. You need to learn the skills that are actually required in the market so you can make money or take your passion and live with it on the streets. Anyway, the number one most popular is React. But does it mean you should learn it? Well, not necessarily. You have to choose from a couple ones and I'll talk about some details that will make your life easier Anyways, we have react Vue, angular svelte ember and backbone and most importantly You need to know what is most required in your country and learn it. Don't worry I'll show you how in the end of this video I will also show you what to do if you're planning on working as a freelancer But since you would most likely be learning one of the following let's get into some details react is created in 2013 by Facebook and it's the most popular one. Well, is it a library or a framework? Well, I don't give a solitary fuck because schoolers disagreed on this because according to the state of JavaScript 2021, it's a framework. So technically, it's a framework used to make UI components. Its main features is JSX, components, virtual DOM, and it's simple and fast. Now, Vue was created in 2014 by Even. It's just a framework that trying to make a combination between React and Angular, according to this guy on Snipcar. Anyways, it's quite popular. Its main features is also virtual DOM. It's also a component based framework and it supports various animations out of the box. Now Angular was created by Google in 2010. Angular is a good performing framework and it offers a good collection of libraries and tools to improve the developer's code. Its main features is Model View Controller or MVC. Well MVC is a software design pattern for developing web applications. Also Angular has an active community on Google and Angular expands and the capabilities of HTML beyond being a simple markup language. Now, Svelte is created by Rick in 2016. It's open source and simple. Remember how we write React? We write some HTML in a JSX file so we can focus on the functionality. Well, Svelte is the opposite. In Svelte, you write some JavaScript in an HTML file. Well, technically, it's a Svelte file. Anyways, it's more as a compiler, but it specifies as a framework. Its key features is that it doesn't work with virtual DOM, but how? Well, it works directly on the code, and also it's faster than other frameworks. And writing Svelte takes less time, but why? Well, Svelte converts components into DOM operations, reacting to data changes on its own, and rendering changes as JavaScript code, so it requires less code than React, for example. And most importantly, it provides pre pulled class names for styling, but in a different way, which is modular CSS. Now, Ember was created by Yehuda in 2011. This one is also a model view controller framework, and its main feature Handlebar syntax. Handlebars is a templating language. It uses a template and an input object to generate HTML. Also, it got something called Ember Inspector Tool. This tool enables developers to inspect their Ember code. Now, what about Backbone? Well, it was created by Jeremy in 2010. It's a minimalist JavaScript framework that allows you to develop and structure your client side applications inside the web browser. It is open source and enables cross platform development. And that's all you need to know to get started in your JavaScript framework journey or to make sure you're in the right place. Let me show you how to find the best framework for you. First, let's start by looking at the companies. Let's take Turkey for example. Open for example Glassdoor or LinkedIn Jobs, doesn't matter. Then search for jobs and look what they're asking for. Don't be lazy, look at different websites and take a look at many job descriptions. Now for freelancers, you don't really need to specify the location. Just go to a freelancing website and look at what technologies people ask for. And thank you for watching this and please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.